Fan fever is building as Wildcats prepare for the Sweet 16 in Los Angeles. Many fans are figuring out where they will be for the game. And Tucson police preparing for their reactions, win or lose, hoping to avoid a repeat of last year's disturbance on University Boulevard after the overtime loss in the Elite Eight. Valerie Cavazos joins us with more on this. Uh, years gone by and images of the disturbance still fresh on everybody's mind. Now this is the spot where a TPT officer pushed a UA student over a bench. That bench now gone. So what's been planned since that day? Ella Moore is a manager of Campus Athletics, the store just yards away from what she called a post-game nightmare that escalated to this. One of the employees was trapped in the store for a good 45 minutes after we closed just because it was not safe for her to leave, um, just because everything flying around. Next door at Fuku Sushi, general manager John DeFrancisca says he and other merchants, including those on 4th Avenue and downtown, met with Tucson police. They told us to pretty much clear our pathways. Uh, there's some objects that wouldn't be allowed on the streets such as chalkboards and tables and chairs and just to clear the pathway. De Francisca says his staff will also watch out for tipsy fans. We're definitely going to keep an eye on how much each person has to drink in our restaurant, especially if they come in prior and they're already intoxicated. TPD is gearing up this week to avoid a repeat. It's trained 600 personnel in crowd control tactics and best practices that don't look like this, instead centers on having highly visible but approachable officers. They're aware of what went right last year and what went wrong, and they have a great approach to everything this year. Zona Zoo's executive director, UA's president and athletic director have worked closely with TPD and UAPD. We're using the hashtag bear down with pride on all our social media, letting people know just to act responsibly. The TPD says other law enforcement agencies around Pima County will also be on hand to help through the NCAA tournaments now coming up at six. If you're trying to get to L.A., we're going to tell you some options that the experts say are still available. Uh, reporting live from the U of A, Valerie Cavazos, Kaga 9 on your side. Go Cats. That's right. Bear down. Valerie.